welcome everyone. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for this NBA presentation. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. From the sideline, our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. It's the Chicago Bulls and the Miami Heat. And it's going to be the Bulls off the tip. Now a chance, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. The starting five on the floor. So for Chicago right now, Longley is out there with Rodman. Then it's Jordan. Then it's Pippen. And it's Harper in at the one spot. Yeah, good awareness there. He sees an opening and doesn't hesitate. Boy, it's a thing of beauty watching him attack the defense like that. I mean, they wanted no part of him on that layup. Now here is Hardaway. Count that one. And just enough wiggle room to get off his shot. Yeah, I like the quick release, Greg. He does a nice job getting it up quickly, especially when he's facing a bigger defender. Here's Jordan following the score by Miami. Outside Harper. Buries the long-range jumper. Harper's got himself on the board with three there. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Now, here's Brown. And he gets the bucket. A smart, decisive pass inside there. Really made it easy for a teammate. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Thank you, Kevin. Well, I spoke with the Heat's head coach. It's the first matchup of the season against this team, and he knows that they have great shot blocking. But he did say we've got to remain aggressive and continue to attack. Put the bigs in high pick and roll situations. Shoot the jumper with confidence. They feel that's the key, Kevin. David, thanks. Sounds like he's prepped his guys on how to handle this opposing defense. And no surprise there, because they're facing a team that can win games with its defense. They are an aggressive bunch from the start. And you know, guys, that being the case, they can't play soft today. I mean, they've got to really be locked in on being the aggressors. Come out firing and try to get off to a good start. So close to getting the block there. You, you can live with those calls because you'd rather have a guy playing aggressive instead of playing it safe. Now here's Pippen. Pass to Harper. Pass to Long. He's looking for Jordan and finds him. And he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. Jordan's got his second bucket of the night. The first quarter of action, two minutes in. Hardaway kicks to Marley. Here's the three. The rebound by Pippen. It's hauled in by the Heat. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. Marley against Jordan. Marley passes to Hardaway. Here's Meshburn. Six to shoot. The Heat need to get a shot off from 11 feet away. And he gets a friendly spin, and that one drops. The shooting percentage is really solid so far, fellas. Good start to this game for him. Harper kicks to Jordan. First quarter of play, we're about three minutes in. That one goes. Count it. Jordan's got eight. Nice way to start the evening. His number's getting called, and for good reason. Well, you know, Greg, they can count on him to get buckets. I mean, he's getting the ball because he's very efficient when he has it. And Miami calls their first time out of the game. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group. Here. Wennington, he's checked in for Longley. Simpkins comes in for Rodman. Kukoc, he's checked in for Pippen. And Kerr is subbed in for Harper. Morning passes to Crotty. Back to Morning. A fadeaway, and it goes down two points. Morning's got his first two points of the night. And he'll take that. The nice, easy mid-range jumper. First bucket of the day. Well, the defense just gave him that one. And you talk about starting on a high note. Didn't seem to respect his mid-range J there. And it's the Heat with the ball. After Chicago picking up a basket just moments ago. They swipe it. Jordan, the pass to Wennington. 
Slam dunk by Jordan. And Kevin, plays like that are really the reason they've got a nice lead right now. Just a great job on the glass. And Greg, the jam and the follow gets their whole bench jumping. Look at them. They are really into it. Yeah, they sure are. That's a little salt in the wound there. I mean, they take a miss and turn it into one of the plays of the game. That hurts. We come back right after this. points in the paint really like the balance that they show so for Chicago right now Kerr is out there with Jordan then there's Wennington then it's Simpkins and it's Kukoc in its small forward Morning hits the outside fadeaway Morning's got the first basket of the second quarter for the Heat here's the pass to Kukoc good ball movement here by the Bulls passes it to Wennington it's Jordan on the wing. And the layup's good off the glass. Jordan's got the lead up to five now for the Bulls. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Pass to Bowen. Here's Crunch, and stolen by Jordan. It's good for the seventh time this game. He shot seven. He has made seven. And he has his fingerprints all over this first half. He is just shooting it so efficiently. Crotty the pass to Bowen. Pass to Crotty. Just five to shoot. It's stolen by Kerr. Here's Jordan. It's good for his eighth consecutive basket in only eight tries. Wow. How about the passing? They are moving the ball without any thought, without any individual time out, time out. Yeah, and it's really fun to see that kind of unselfishness. Really hard not to appreciate all the assists they've racked up. And the Heat call time here. And not surprising, obviously unhappy with the lack of response from his team. Can't blame him. I mean, the effort hasn't been there. Just has not been there. Hopefully... He can get the fire lit. The Bulls making a switch here. Longley's checked in for Wennington. Godman comes in for Simpkins. Pippen's checked in for Jordan. And it's Harper in for Kerr. Here's Hardaway. Brown dishes to Hardaway. Over Harper. And that one hits back iron. And as he squares up for mid-range, the defender right in his face. Yeah, I like the fact, Greg, that he crowded the shooter there, made him uncomfortable, got into his airspace a bit. It looked like he forced the shot. And taken away by out Brown. Of it's out of bounds to the heat as Miami retains possession. There's a minute 47 left in the second quarter. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Hardaway kicks to Marley. And it's good assisting on the play with Hardaway. Marley's got seven points. Can't give up these looks. I mean, the defense has to be more aggressive guarding the perimeter. Pippen, the pass to Longley. Some solid defense from Brown. That's what we're talking about in terms of the activity level defensively. You gotta protect the rim. Mm -hmm. Textbook defense all around. Nice job at contesting the shot without fouling. And that's how you do it. Well done. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Miami shooting their first free throws of this. That free throw, no good. And he sinks the second. Quarter number two, around three minutes gone by. Harper kicks to fifth. Marley misses off the left iron. The Heat trail by five. Down low. Hodman grabs the miss. A highlight reel 
play all the way just can't connect. I thought the pass looked good and just came up a skosh short, but I like the initiative and the intention. Here's Pippen. A beautiful reverse layup. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now, Greg. They've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. Five seconds separating the shot and game blocks. And that's out of bounds. Miami will retain position. There's 18 seconds left now here in the second. Here's Marley. Rodman grabs the miss. Shoots it up. And Pippen with the basket. The assist from Rodman. And now it's a nine-point Bulls lead. And you know, Kevin, they count on him to provide offense, and he knows how to fill it up. Great job of passing the offensive flag. He stayed with it. That's hard-nosed, tough basketball. And so it's the Chicago Bulls heading to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. We're shooting the ball so well in this one. A great performance from the field. We've got more in store for you right after this. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings. It was a closely contested first quarter for Chicago. They saw their lead grow to a high water mark of five in the period. And guys for the Bulls, how about you, Shaq? What did you think about Chicago? I like their commitment to that inside game, boy. Get it inside to the post. Got to be scoring in the post, splashing to the basket. Just shoot the high percentage shot. No jumpers. And that's going to do it for our halftime show, sadly. Third quarter about to start. As we return to South Florida, a fantastic view of that famous stretch of sand, Miami Beach. And we've got third quarter of basketball for you, two quarters in the books. And so here is Miami. They trail by seven. Morning is out there with Brown. Then there's Hardaway. Then it's Marley. And it's Mashburn in at the small forward position. That's the group on the floor for Miami. Pippen with it. And Jordan has it in the corner. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. Mashburn and the rejection by Pippen and he recovers it Count that one for Mashburn Chicago leading by five and Jordan has it in the corner lays it up and in on the nice reverse Jordan's got 20 well I tell you what I like the clip he's shooting at extremely effective if you're on defense now you gotta get the ball out of his hand Hardaway gets deflected. Pippen, the pass to Jordan. To the inside. And here's Longley. Pippen kicks to Jordan. To the paint. Drives contact on the shot. And now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Give him assist there, not for the pass, but for the solid screen set on the inside that freed him up and made the layup possible. Simpkins, he's checked in for Rodman. He had been the 90s club when we saw the pick and roll really become a, a common Started. type play. Defenses have now adjusted somewhat, but many offenses still rely on it now. Man, you go way back to the 50s and 60s. The pick and roll has been one of the hardest plays to defend since really basketball came into existence, quite honestly. Puts a lot of pressure on the defense, and now with the interchangeable parts that many teams have, you have the real challenge of small guys setting screens on big guys and creating havoc. So screen and roll action is always a very important part of the game and a hard set to cover well on defense. Through the net again. He's done that ten times. 
Cubs tonight, and he's only needed 11 shots to get there. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness, Greg. I mean, if they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. To end the run. Not that one. The Bulls' lead has been cut down to 10 in the bucket for morning. And you know what? One of the few bright spots in this game for them today. He's kept his edge even though they've been trailing. Pippen for three. Buries the long-range jumper. Pippen's got his third basket of the night right there. And he can smell blood in the water. Excellent pitch. Yeah, no let up. Killer instinct on display trying to put this team away. I love the tenacity. Pound kicks to Hardaway. Five to shoot. Here's Crotty. Sweet little floater. Crotty's got his first basket of the night. And it's all about the release when you shoot. Now the pass to Jordan. Right around three minutes into the second half. With the shot. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. And that's the shot you want to create. They just can't get it to fall. That's what I call an everything but good execution. Just didn't knock it down. But you're right. They're happy with that shot. And, and maybe that'll trigger them. Impossible not to get pumped up after that. Yeah, well, you can see the immediate reaction of the guys on the bench. They are pumped up. And that's what those alley-oops will do for a team. Ignition switch ignited. It's hauled in by Brown. Brown's got six rebounds in the game. To the middle. And the dunk by Brown. And no doubt they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. And that deficit will go away quickly if he does break. Well, I like the way he capped off that drive. The one hand, whole punch. Both teams will make substitutions. The Heat trail by seven. Who's watching here? Now, Hardaway. Inside. Boom, he jams it straight down. And you can sense things now starting to tighten up. Their offense has become unstoppable. And, Greg, I'm not quite sure why it took him as long as it did to finally get things going, but as we always say, better late than never. the end of the third. It's the Bulls up four. And right after this, we'll bring you the start of the final quarter right here on 2K Sports. How about a look at today's State Farm assist of the game? Yeah, and I, I like the fact we get to see this pass one more time. A magnificent feed, and you love to see your off guard taking over the playmaking duties with this much skill. Yeah, platinum level dime dropping there, fellas. Accurate and on time. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far with this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. So for Chicago right now, Jordan is out there with Kerr, then it's Kukoc, then there's Long, and it's Rodman in the four-man position. And two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. And the foul goes against Miami. And an important part of every team's game. And we'll look at the hustle stats for Chicago. Boy, they're hounding, harassing effort at the defensive end. Very impressive. And they forced quite a few turnovers as a result. Yeah, and another thing, they, they created a lot of turnovers, but they've also been able to convert when they've gotten out of the transition. Hardaway passes to Bowen. Got a piece of it. It's stolen by Kerr. And here's the fast break. Jordan leading the way. And slam dunk by Jordan. Well executed. And then you love the strong finish. Fantastic speed on the break. Speed kill showing no mercy in transition there, partner. Hardaway passes to Bowen. Off target from outside. Chicago leading by eight. It's Jordan on the wing. He's guarded by Marlon. And he 
takes it from 10. Again, Chicago. Timeout, timeout. Oh, the turnaround jumper. That was just beautiful. And the Heat called time here. And not surprising. Obviously unhappy with the lack of response from his team. Can't blame him. I mean, effort hasn't been there. Just has not been there. Hopefully, he can get the fire lit. And Miami making a change here. Rounds checked in. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. Well, I was able to hear the Heat coach go over his game plan during the break. He said, guys, we look like we're running in mud. Let's get out and see the early offense. And if it's not there, let's run the half-court offense. Pretty good advice, guys. Here's Jordan. That one drops for him. And now it's a 12-point Bulls lead. And he has just been in a flow offensively. Terrific game. He has been the X Factor. Marley dishes to Hardaway. Asking. And, and guys on defense gasping for air at this point. Well, I'll tell you what, Greg, what can they do? I mean, nobody can miss a shot. I mean, these guys are bringing it on offense right now. Here's Jordan. He uses the glass to finish the layup. Jordan's got 32 points. And some guys just have a nose for scoring. And this one couldn't have been any easy. Yeah, that was actually no defense at all there, Greg. I mean, layups don't come any easier than that. I mean, it all now. And that one misses. Some changes for Chicago. Pippen comes in for Kukoc. And it's Harper in for Kerr. And he sinks the second. 157 left to play here in the fourth. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. On deep, Marley. Good, and the assist goes to Hardaway. Hardaway has got four assists in the game. You know, that's how you do it, guys. I mean, he passed his way out of the double team and into an easy basket. And here's Jordan outside. It's rebounded by Austin. And extending the D there, putting a lot of pressure on the shooter. You're exactly right. Controlling the perimeter well. And didn't allow the shooter to get off a clean look. That's what you would call A-plus defense. Here's Hardaway. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. He cannot get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. Morning's jacked in for Austin. And he ends up making the second, and that brings them within single digits. Not nearly as productive a trip to the line as he'd have liked. They need all their free throws to go down at this point. Here's Jordan. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Jordan's got 17 points here in the second half. And every move he takes looks like the right one at this point. No doubt about it, Greg. I mean, the game comes so naturally to him, easily. I mean, helping to expand their lead as they try to close this one out. He's doing it. And the second free throw, no good. A tough break there. And they're running. And the dunk by Jordan. And, and that's a killer instinct on display yes. as they try to put this one on ice. And, you know, this is what's needed at this point in the game, Greg. The great team know how to close it out. On deep, Marley, that's another one for him. His fifth in just seven shots. No excuse for that kind of defense. I'm positive they're upset about that. No doubt about it. He has done a ton to help this team, but he's going to have to do even more if they want to have a chance to get back in this. It's Jordan on the win. Inside. Here's Pippen. He doesn't hit the first, and that was the one they really wanted. He's got one more, though. So he comes up empty at the line. And with the time remaining, I'm just not seeing it. Yeah, it would take a miracle for them to come back, in my mind, like Tracy McGrady against the Spurs type of heroics. A lot of points and a little bit of time. And now we've got the intentional foul. He drops the first one, and that increases their lead to six. And so both free throws are good. It's a seven-point game. Perfectly done at the strike there. That brings their lead up to an even more comfortable level. And the Heat call time here. They're trailing by seven. We've got 28 seconds left in the game. And now we get a chance to check out our Jordan player of the game. And, Kevin, it's a no-brainer. 
He's controlled every aspect of this game. And it's just so fun to see a player perform at a level that's just higher than anyone else out on the floor. He's really seemed to feed off the hostile environment he's been faced with tonight. Knocks it loose and stolen by Jordan. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game clock. Passes to Harper. Hardaway with the steal. Pass to Marlon. To the paint. Out to Hardaway. And stolen by Jordan. So the Bulls win it. This was a hard-fought, well-earned victory for him, Greg. They really had to work for this win. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, well, weaker teams might have buckled at the end with the crowd amped up, everyone in the building kind of rooting against you. But they stood tall and, and pulled it out. Well said. And that about wraps it up. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. So long and good night, everyone. Thank <laughs> you.